Hello and welcome back to Love Advice TV. My name is Coach Adrian and I do these videos because I love helping good people all over the world fighting the good fight, trying to be in a healthy, sustainable relationship with someone that they love and lost. And today's topic is a little heavy. It's for people who are married, still married, about to get a divorce, and your significant other has already moved in with someone else or is already officially in a relationship with someone else despite the fact that you are married or you have children together or perhaps despite the fact that you still live together right technically but they're already seeing someone else and those cases are very heartbreaking and difficult for me personally because i'm invested i care and I don't want to see families fall apart. I don't want common life projects to, to break down just because people are going through midlife crisis, existential issues, or are just caught up in their own selfish desires and kind of give up on their families. And I've coached a young lady in the Pacific coast on the west side of the US whose uh, husband started to date someone else despite the fact that they were not officially divorced. And it's tremendously difficult because they have children together and because she is still holding out hope of making things right. She's not the only lady that, I mean, I'm coaching four or five different women just in the U.S. alone going through this process right now. And this happens to men too, in the U.S. and all over the world. And the key is for you to quickly, quickly, quickly Stop chasing this man and to act like a single person. It doesn't mean that you need to date anybody or to go against your moral code and to sleep around, but you need to stop acting as his wife or her husband because if you act, if you give them everything that they had when you guys were together, there's nothing for you to fight for. I don't want you to compete with another woman or another man for your ex's attention, for your spouse's attention. By all intents and purposes, oftentimes the best way to go is to move forward with a divorce or a separation, to prove to them that you're not desperate, that you're not going to cling on to the relationship at all costs, that you have self-respect, that you have dreams, that you have hopes, that you have happiness, purpose, and passion, independently of them, independently of the relationship. And it's very hard not to be angry and bitter and resentful, but I urge you to take the high road. Don't let your significant other drag you in the mud. Let them carry the burden of the chaos that they've created by choosing to do the right thing, by acting right, by protecting yourself, your family, what you've built, but by letting them know, I want to be with someone who wants to be with me. I'm happy to move forward with my life, although it breaks my heart. If that is what you feel you need to do, I will do the same. Those are scary words to utter, and very rarely do my clients muster the courage to do this before they speak to me in coaching sessions, because they feel like they're pushing their significant other into someone else's arms. It's counterintuitive. They don't have it in them to detach, but it is the way to go. It is the best way to regain self-esteem and to be appealing again. Because sometimes and oftentimes it takes losing someone or something that we care about to truly value and appreciate how much we cared about that person. And you cannot cling on to someone who's hurting you in that way, who's disrespecting you and who's being so selfish. They don't deserve your love based on the ways that they've acted. So stop giving it to them. Give your love to people, to your kids, to people that deserve it, and make them earn it. Make them earn it. And it's very, very, very important for people in your shoes to have a solid plan and to have mechanisms in place to keep you in check. And I urge you to book a coaching session because on your own, it's gonna be extremely difficult to be strong enough to make the right decisions each day in and day out, to not be tested or to not react negatively to the mess that has been created there. 
It's hard. I know it's hard because I coach so many people in your shoes, but it is possible. And it's all the much sweeter when you're able to rebuild a common life project and when your significant other is genuinely apologetic and genuinely watering the plant to make things right. It takes time and effort. It takes mental fortitude and detachment on your part. But it's possible. If that's what you want, ultimately, I'm your man. Love Advice TV, we are here as a team to help you along this journey of personal growth, of personal development and empowerment, and ultimately of success in love. So don't be afraid to share your story with others going through the same struggles. Don't hesitate to book a coaching session with me. I would love to work with you truly, truly would, to help you fight the good fight and to build a new and improved common life project with your significant other, despite the mess that they've created. As always, my dear friends, keep fighting the good fight and see you soon for yet another video on Love Advice Team.